All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is the um, April 26, 2017 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. This meeting is being recorded for rebroadcast. We may be live. Are we live, gentlemen? Gentlemen, are we live? Or are we? Being, we're live, and we're also being recorded for posterity for as long as the town permits us to be recorded for. That's available uh, at arborguide.com. Um, Way back of government meeting. Oh, correct. Thank you. So um, before we start this meeting, I'm required to ask if anyone is making a recording of this meeting. Seeing that there's no one in the audience, are you recording this meeting? I'm not. Okay. In that case, uh, the first item on our agenda is a 7 p.m. public hearing uh, a notice of intent filed by O'Reilly Auto Enterprises LLC for the redevelopment consisting of demolition of an existing building and construction of a new building uh, at 700 Southbridge Street in Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? You're up. Uh, Randy Byron with Boulder Engineering. Uh, I guess. Uh, Maybe, Mr. Chairman, would you like me to start just by kind of going over where we're at with the project with some of the other board and, and well, stuff? Well, I received an email from uh, our town planner, Matt Benoit, indicating that you did appear before the planning board last night and they did uh, uh, give you approval for your project. We did. Right? So the planning board did grant us approval um, and the zoning board also granted us approval last week. Okay. For our, uh, we need a special permit for the storage of uh, hazardous, hazardous materials in excess of a typical household. Okay. Um, and uh, we've also also gone through and addressed some comments from the peer review consultant and now as part of the planning board site plan approval. Right. Um, Graves Engineering did a did an extensive review on the project and plans and the drainage report and all that stuff. Um, and we, they had some minor comments which we've addressed. Um, we also met with the both the fire department and the engineering department of uh, the town engineer Bill, Bill Coyle. Um, they had some concerns with uh, there were some concerns with fire with access with emergency vehicles and how they would come in the driveway here and how to treat this driveway. Um, there's been a lot of concerns from both the planning board and with, with the butters in the back here with trying to limit the amount of traffic um, and vehicles that get onto Waterman Road. I guess there's like a there's a fairly big residential neighborhood in the back. Okay. So. What we're going to do is um, we've decided to add some signage here on this driveway uh, that, that, that it's just going to be used for deliveries and employees. There's also going to be a no left turn sign placed so people won't do this maneuver uh -huh. coming out. Yeah. And there's also this driveway here. It's going to be um, uh, almost like a, like a speed hump that's going to have some scored concrete. And it's really just to prevent, we're trying to prevent speed customers from exiting out this driveway. It's really, this driveway is only for emergency vehicles. In case there is some type of emergency, a fire truck can come in mm -hmm. and he could go over this, this speed hump, mm -hmm. but a typical car or vehicle couldn't. Um, and that's pretty much it um, in terms of like the big, the, the highlights of what we've addressed thus far. Um, like I said, that the comments from the Graves Engineering were fairly minor. Um, Would that be a no exit? Oh, Would that be a no exit sign? I'm going to talk about. Uh, yes. Maybe a yeah, no exit sign also, here as well. There's also going to be do not enter signs okay. facing this direction, okay. so people don't come in. Which some people pay attention to. But the main entrance being where the main entrance is. Correct. Yeah. Uh, my you. my biggest concern, of course, is the proximity of the existing building to the the stream right behind it. Yep. And mm -hmm. yep. When. <laughs> Right behind is probably within what a few feet. So, um, you know, clearly, um, my my major concern, primary concern, is that when <coughs> when the, the existing building is being demolished and when the new building is being constructed, that um, uh, special attention be given to making sure that no debris uh, ends up in the, the stream. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, yeah. My sense is that, I mean, we have our standard order conditions and our special order conditions. Um, I could see putting an item just, again, drawing attention or, or asking uh, the applicant to, to make sure that, in fact, there's no, um, uh, no debris gets into the stream, no erosion uh, goes into the stream. And um, aside from that, I think it's a very straightforward project. It's a, it's a good use for that existing uh, parcel of property. Obviously, you have support 
for the project from both the planning board and the ZBA. So, um, and you know, we this is I think our third hearing on this. So, um, you know, and we've had an opportunity, obviously, to go out there and, and take a walk. So, um, you know, we're, we're we know what we are proposing there, and uh, you know, can I just think ask a question. So, the hazardous waste has been restored where? So they, uh, it's so O'Reilly Automotive Park. They, they store. They have a storage area in the back of this building. Okay. This this front box here is where the where your, your customers come in and they can walk up and down the aisle and select motor oil and yeah, transmission fluid and all that stuff. And then it's really just stored in this back area. Um, and you know. No like it, there's no, you're not doing, are you doing oil changes there? No, so okay, there's no automotive okay, use, it's just the retail sales. Okay, all right. Right. So, right. right. so when they're delivering right. the stuff that's, again, that's yeah, going to be kind of close to the stream too. There should be minimal risk to that dropping or puncturing or anything else like that that could be running into the stream. Yeah. Uh, yes, and I mean everything's contained within like environmentally safe containers. And we, we, we you know, we, we, we addressed this with the, um, with, with the zoning board. They were concerned too because of the, the store. There is hazardous materials in there. They do have like a, um, they have plans in place, and they say, for instance, they get a delivery that there's a, uh, you know, a quart of oil that might have like a hole in it or right. something. They have um, certain protocol they have to take to empty the, the motor oil into a certain bucket, and then okay. that bucket, once it fills up, is um, is um, uh, it's emptied on a regular basis by a, like a third-party environmental company okay. who disposes it of it the proper way. Okay. So you so, guys have a plan. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I've yeah. got a list of all the products they're selling. Uh, the mm -hmm. zoning board. Okay. Uh, I have right. that list. If you okay. Okay. Yeah. I should probably scan. I figured. I just figured I'd ask. Yeah. I'll scan it and send it to the one. You'll never Yeah, it's long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any other questions from the board? Do you happen to have a large copy of the uh, demolition plan D1.1? I do. Yeah. It just shows more clearly, Chair, it's just the chair, the, um, the back of the building and the floor. I have one here. Yep. See just how like the farm, yeah, where the farm, we know it's very, very close in proximity to it. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's, it's, we've maintained that same distance mm -hmm. for the proposed building, sure. not going any closer. Right, right. Um, but you're right, it, it it's is just very, when they close. take it out, they're just going to, we're going to ask that you be careful with it. Yeah. And I think we asked you this before, it's a slab on grade, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there's no basement. Okay. Very good. Uh, I don't have any other questions. If does anyone else have any questions? Mm -hmm. All right, there being none, Mr. Fan, you don't have any questions, do you? No, oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have any questions. Okay. He's going to be your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, That's if, right. if there are no other questions, is there a motion to close? I make so a moved. Motion. Okay, sorry, go ahead. So moved. Is there a second? Second it. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Yeah. I have a question about the back exit. Sure. When you're talking about the exit for the emergency exit uh, for the mm -hmm. fire departments, um, what do you what do you do in that exit to prevent traffic from going in the uh, beside posting signs? Is there a gate there or anything like that uh, in particular, or just? I can. Do you guys want me to? Yeah, you can ask. Yeah, so we met here. both the fire and engineer. We actually talked about putting a gate there. Yeah. The engineering department did not want a gate because it gets into trouble with snow removal. Like if people pile snow up against it, but how do you open the gate? So the consensus was to go with this type of speed hump to prevent a typical vehicle from going over that area, but would still allow an emergency vehicle to go over. So that's just in the front one. That's correct? just in this. That that's just right. in this driveway. Correct. And then the back one, you're going to have signage. Right, for deliveries and for employees only. Yep. They're not going to be able to go anywhere, anyways. They're going to be deterred by that, anyways. They're not going to be able to go anywhere. What's the, what's the back, back exit there? Is that one on Waterman? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's two on Waterman. Mm -hmm. Southbridge. So 
couple customers are really going to be using that. The Selfridge Street Selfridge entrance and exit. exit. Yeah, because there's no means of egress, so there's no access to the front of the building. Is there from the back parking lot? There isn't, no. Yeah. No. Right. Okay. My past experience is just every time I know what what it is about the uh, um, speed bump there, it's, it's um, most likely it's not going to stop any traffic from going to any problems. Another option is, 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 is uh, I see sometimes a lot of fire department has uh, the keys, keys to those gate, uh, like you said, the emergency vehicles. Uh, I'm myself a firefighter. We respond to um, Holy Cross College. Um, there's gates everywhere, and then we have access to those keys onto the truck. But uh, Holy Cross in the past had open gates and a speed bump and it never worked. That's just my, my, my suggestions. That's all. Mr. Van, an observation. I think if there's a problem with, uh, I mean, if there's flagrant um, uh, misuse of that exit, um, the way to uh, draw attention to it is to call the police and uh, they will, you know, put a car there and anyone going out will be, you know, sanctioned appropriately. So, but I think as, as you indicated, um, it's going to be marked so that clearly that back parking lot is going to be intended for employees anyway. So I think, uh, I suppose maybe someone, you might get a couple people that are going in there by, uh, by air, you know, uh, but I think over time it should correct itself. So, all right, you're all set. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll render a decision this evening. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good night. For construction? Yes. I don't know if they're going to be starting this year. They could be starting sometime this summer. Okay. Maybe. I'm not. I'm, I really don't know. Okay, thank you. Thought we had come up with a solution to um, uh, the flight problem on Warner Road. Yes. And uh, I wanted to know. Uh, I think you indicated that you thought you'd get the work done before tonight's meeting. Yes, I did. So, um, your permissions when we met on April 12th, uh, the board allowed me to go in. And so I went in and I took down about four, four to six inches prior to you coming out on a Saturday on the west side of where the wood pile is on the west side of, of the uh, west side of the wetland. Mm -hmm. So I did took down about four to six inches um, prior to um, you coming out on the I believe the weekend of the it's the end of March 25th. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. no. It, was in, it was in March. It was in March. It was in March, but it was before my niece was born. April. April. Uh, yeah. 17, 17, I left 20, on 20, April 18th, so it was April. 25. I believe, yes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. In so any event. Yeah, okay. okay, whatever. So I, I took it out six inches, about four to six inches, probably coming out about three feet wide, and I let it be and see how much it would drain out. And then this uh, Monday, I came back again, and I realized that a little bit more could be taken out, so I took down another about two inches, okay, two to three inches, and I, I just went back there today before I 
a live pair, mm -hmm. and I can see it. Uh, and how does it look? Yeah. It looks great. Okay. Right. It looks great. Yeah. Okay. What I was not uh, able to get out, uh, but I assure you that uh, I will get out uh, this weekend. Sure. And um, so this is what is my suggestion. Um, you don't have to come back to see us, assuming okay. everything is the way we think it's going to be. Okay. And then uh, what we can do is, is that if everything appears to, if the drain, draining uh, solution has worked out, um, we will uh, take up the issue of the enforcement runner in our next meeting and we will um, act appropriately. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. So thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. So you were saying it is flowing at the yeah, water is? It's, it's flowing. Good. Yeah. Most of the water is out of there. I mean, oh, just wow. the residual and the amount of water is left there. I think at that low point, yeah. it's still way below okay. the 628 that we, um, Mr. Glenn, has uh, yeah. you know mentioned. We took it down below the grade of 628, allow it to drain a little bit more. Like I said, I just came back there the second time uh, over this past weekend, and I took it down another uh, about three inches more, and it's, it seems to, uh, with this amount of rain for the I past, say it's past three days, yep. mm -hmm. it sustains itself where Great. I think it looks it looks very decent. Yeah. And, Wonderful. Unless, uh, unless the chairman comes out and see it, if it needs a little bit more, I'll be more than happy to keep digging. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, right. okay. um, I have another question for the board to what is the requirement for me to, I should say, the setback for me to if I uh, need to put a fence uh, near the border of that wetland where the grass area is. I'm not sure what the back. zoning is in that area. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. it belongs to the zoning? I mean, I think. There is an overlay map. You can, I mean, I think that's actually in the by, um, in the in the, the town um, um, bylaws. What do you mean, as far as where you can put the fence? Yes, I, I like to, you know, with the amount of water back there, and I have mentioned this to the board before about um, it's been my yard being open to CVS and trash and. I think it's and, 10 feet, but I think you should really, you can look it up, um, find out what zoning district you're in. You can put then. the fence right on the property line if he knows where it is. Mm -hmm. And if you need to maintain it, exactly you'd have to move it, yeah. move it over a couple it's feet, or else you could put it right on the boundary line. Yeah. I'm not Six feet or less, you don't need it. I think he's term. worried about okay. the wetland. I think he's worried about the wetland. Where he could put the where he could put it right in the wetland. I was thinking more. Because of CVS parking lot is mm -hmm. much higher than mine. If yes. I do an, yes. an eight or a ten feet fence, it wouldn't make any difference. No. Mm -hmm. no. I still have people looking over and stragglers keep crossing uh, that lane, yeah. and yeah. the trash still being dumped there. So I was thinking to make my yard look good. I was going to, I just like I just mentioned, I wanted to see if I can put the fence right behind where the grass grew. On the other side, right? Yep, on the, other side. the other side. Yeah, a privacy yeah. fence. But it will be between the house yeah. and the, uh, the pond. The pond. The pond. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the setback on the pond? That's what I really want. I don't to think. Know. I mean, again, I would confer with the zoning, but I might. I think you probably can go right as up long to as it. you don't um, cause any erosion or um, no. in, intrude in the pond itself. I think you can probably do a run on the bank there. Okay. So I think you'd be fine. So That's just another, you know, thought of my in my head when I said, um, you know, I if I would spend all that money, the fence back there wouldn't do me any good because the elevation of sea this is That's way right. high, way high um, and, and there's nothing I can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I have mentioned about the trash. The, but the other thing too uh, that we observed is that, and I think we, if we looked at the order orders of condition we issued, but. Um, you know, they should not be, I think it, it's sort of common practice for them to, when they do have snowstorms and they need to plow their lot, they just push the snow to the back of the lot. Mm -hmm. There's, a, of course, a problem with that intruding onto your property. And so um, there might be, um, and I'll have to look at the, uh, the order conditions we issued, but um, there, you might ha there might be um, the ability to, um, 
advise them or instruct them not to, to engage in that sort of practice so that you don't get any, any more um, um, you know, water, water, water or precipitation than, than is there already. So that's something we will take a look at. Yeah. I um yeah I know I I have mentioned this but um you know I I was just thinking alternative plan I'm not trying to uh, Aphrodite's have you thought about yeah. doing some Aphrodite's back there um but it's more concerned of the safety too because I know in the past that there's um you know homeless was living back there in the bushes and Mr. Grabowski and Mr. Um, the surveyor. Um, the uh, Pratt, the Pratt, Mr. Pratt, had, you know, combed through there and you know, fine needle. He brought it up to Mr. Vosky attentions, and uh, but yeah, it's, it's ongoing. So I just want to see if I can find an alternative plan okay. rather than you know going. I did took my time to go over and spoke to the man in CVS and see if the corporate were willing to put a fence uh -huh. up, but I heard no answer, and I also contacted it. Um, the management for that property, and mm. um, I, I didn't hear anything back. Mm. So that was probably a good year, 12 months. Yeah. So that's when I I asked Mr. Kowalski to mention it to the board and see what we can do about it. But mm. um, squeaky wheel gets the grease. Mm. And call him yeah. again. Yeah. Did you uh, Michelle? So did you mean not only like our or something? Yeah. So we I had 92, 94 inch arbs in my yard. Yep. Well, I would love that. I was going to say, like, just, they just call. They yeah, grow they fast. Just, they will. And they, they will. grow they well and thick. I mean, yeah. it's a huge barrier and it's, it's prettier than the fence. Yeah. I mean, no, I, I love it. I, I, it I actually love the help for the erosion yeah. and everything else. Well, they're soft. Yeah. I was just concerning about the amount of water in the pond if it would, if it would survive them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, as we said, it's pretty tough. Huh? Consult with an arborist. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, so. and not only that, but just to preserve you know, trash right. continuously being uh, yeah, right. pushed oils and everything else yeah. in the yeah. parking lot. Yeah. Mm. But I thought about putting the fence up from the property line to where, but it's just too low. Yeah. My, my property is just too low mm. because mm. it's it's about uh, a good 10 feet away from the height, so if you extend mm -hmm. 12 feet, my drop is... Yeah. Right, exactly. Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't do me any good. Yeah. So I thought I, I thought I mentioned that um, and asked permission what the setback are. Um, if I can't do it <laughs> in the, uh, just, in the, in the high point. We're just saying, we're not giving permission necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just, never know. Just throw it out there. Because right I don't now. know. I don't, know the on, yeah, I don't know the uh, you know the setback rule, really, so I think I, I think that you need to look at those first. Yeah, yeah, we just can't do ideas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you very just much. throwing that up there. Okay. All right. All right. So I hope you're happy what I did over there. Thank you, Mr. Kang. We appreciate you know, it. And uh, if you're coming out and you know, um, just give me a phone call. All right. Go to see a phone call, and I'll I'll continue to uh, you know dig it. If it needs to be. Okay. We will do that. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank, you. Well, thank you very much. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for coming in, Richard. All right. So, we have meeting minutes to review. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. We do. I'm going to skip the 20 second because I wasn't here. Yep. Fine. Yeah. Be that way. <laughs> 22. We're doing 22. 12, too. You're here, aren't you? I was here on the 12th. Oh, jeez, oh, I gotta fix that then. No, it says oh, members right. pressure. Oh, she got her there. But on March 22nd, no, and I wasn't April here 12th. on the. I wasn't. No, I was here on the 20th. I wasn't here on the 22nd, but on April 12th, 12th that oh. says I was here. And who says you're there? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. I was yeah. reading it wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got okay. it. Okay. Let's move on. Which one are we doing? Okay. Um, March 22nd Thank first. You. <laughs> 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 
All right, on page two, seven fifteen. Um, the says beginning with my name. It says stated a site visit um, was on March twenty fifth. How about stated he made a site visit on? Maybe. He made a site visit yeah, on March twenty five. Three lines above that, Mata says, really mm -hmm. nitpicking. Oh, Get rid of the comma after chips. <laughs> sorry, Sheila. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I know you missed Dan. You know, I, I figured it out. Yeah, his father was in. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is an exact duplicate of his father. Really? I couldn't believe it. it looks just like uh, him. I couldn't believe it. Um, do we ever get a 21 e assessment? I'm looking at the meeting yeah, notes. I'm on he page. Sent, he sent us something. I page I'm on top of page yeah. three. Okay. Because I asked him if there was a 21 e assessment. I think he oh. did someone send us one. No. Oh wait a minute. I'm getting mixed up with yeah. the. Um, you asked right yeah, there. 2023. Yeah. You yeah. asked for the. Uh, I'm thinking he, of three no, he did, Washington. He, no, did he, he get that? He did send it to us. Okay. Then. Yes. So. All right. You should have it in your I'll file. check it anyway. Right. There's a 21 e assessment. Uh, to determine uh, like contamination of the soil. Sure. You kind okay. of always have a four dry clean on the Thank you. Know, solvents, yeah. okay. that sort of thing. Yes. Yeah, I'll double check that just to make sure. Mm -hmm. uh, under packet chalk 1215, uh -huh. yeah. it begins, the, the sentence begins, the second letter was received after the meeting, and then it starts, your question was there, and it should be her question. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Okay. And it should be instead of, instead of was if, was whether. Okay. If you go down to the, um, it's the more towards the bottom, the second set, um, or the second, it's like the fifth line, begin with my name, where it says, Michael Garland again stated the charter, and it should be the charter uh, amendment. Uh, if you go, it's the, like the sixth sentence from the bottom, beginning with the word vote. Wait, what page you want to I'm still on page three. Yeah. Okay, so it, it, and she, it says, the charter does not supersede the 1980 vote. Ms. L uh, Lancio um, contended the charter does not supersede the 1980 vote. Okay, we want to make it clear that this is uh, her opinion. It was kind of her still going on. Well, I understand that, but I okay. want to make it clear. Okay. You want to repeat what you said again? Huh? Okay. Yes. After the word vote, yeah. I would change it. I, I would add Ms. Lancio um, stated the charter does not super, supersede the 1980 vote. And then, and then if you look at the last sentence of that paragraph, it says the, this language was an oversight. Site is uh, S I G H T. I can't see it. Oh, here it is. Okay. This language was an oversight. Okay. Okay. 
And then the last sentence on the bottom of page three should be her recourse. And then um, top that the first sentence, Ms. Lancio again asks, it should be asked. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> and then I think the tense of the last sentence in that paragraph needs to be fixed. Okay. It says the land and water conservation has restrictions on the land as it is federally funded land. Um, and as you wrote, you cannot do what you want with the land as federally funded. Um, Good. Why don't you just um, end that sentence after federally funded land period? Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, next paragraph towards the end. That the complaint is to the, ch the town manager if she felt, not you feel, if she felt that the appropriate steps had not been taken. Okay. Three lines down from that. Parcels are not designated. If you only the word as between designated and having. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have a question in the sentence before. Begin with the word parcels. Parcels and proper properties. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was I some. That. that was something that somebody she used that word. Okay. Wow. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not either. I had to look it up. <laughs> and my land is not rusty. You know it's no, not existing. Know. You know what it might be. Yeah. And I again, we might just want to take it out. She might have meant to say in perpetuity. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Where, where am I? Where am I? <coughs> Which seems definitely. And I don't know definitely if that's sense. that's true or not, oh, to be okay. honest with you. I'm outstanding. Um, <laughs> you're smart. Outstanding. So, you want me to change it to perpetuity? No, I no because uh, I just I, take it out. I would just I would oh, just remove remo it. Remove that sentence. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just change. Right. Yep. Last part in the last sense of um, you take that out. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud! Thirty-seven years period. Jeez. I get emotional. Uh. Okay, <laughs> let's move on, Mr. Fan. Six lines from the bottom. It starts present. What uh, it should be present war Stanley and Florence. Okay. Okay. Um, and they residents would be um, R E N R E S I D E N T E T S. Okay. I know spell check doesn't always help. No. <laughs> Good thing I've got you. Okay. And those are all the changes I have. Yep. Concur. Um, is there a motion? I motion. Make motion to accept the meeting, the meeting minutes of March 22nd, 2017 has amended. Okay. Uh, is there a second? Second it. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. I abstain. Okay. So we'll have a quorum of three out of five. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we're all right. <laughs> okay, and why don't we 
through the April 12th meeting minutes. Yep. And you can participate in this, Michelle. <laughs> Uh, I have no no comments, no changes. Yeah. No. Uh, Mr. Well, Fisher, for the Don't find any now. This is my, this is my second one in nine <laughs> years. No. <laughs> you have any questions? This is good. Um, <laughs> second. Right, so on page two yeah. under the seven ten. Yes. Yeah. See where it says Mrs. Good or Ms. Goodrich. Yep. Wait a minute, where are we? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Ms. Goodrich, keep reading that. At the very end, it says, yeah. look like crease. Look like, look like, hold on. So it says, Ms. Goodrich agreed to contact the office. I think that means looks like, it should be, looks like present like. Oh. Presently looks like. Presently looks like. Yes. I think I should even have that. What the, the site presently it looks like. Yeah, see, I, I change things around after I write them. Okay, so just take out. That's what that is. That's just an over ratio. Okay, thank you. Don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> have okay. a great assistant. Uh, good catch on, yes, on your right. part. Is it today? It Absolutely. Today. Oh, wow. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, any other changes? Any suggested changes? There being none, is there a motion uh, to approve the meeting minutes of April 12, 2017? A motion that we approve the min meeting meetings minutes of the meeting of April 12. As slightly amended. As, as slightly amended. Right? That's right. Very is slightly. Ever so slightly. <laughs> Ever so slightly. Okay. Is there I'll second that. All right. Thank you. Is there any discussion? <laughs> thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. That's a vote. Great. Okay. Great. And they should get rid of that. Okay. Time. Sorry about That's that. that. All right. With respect to. You can yeah. go run it smooth. 700 South Street. That's right. All right, I'm ready for this one. Cooking with, cooking with canola oil, baby. Is everybody got the other machine? I like Crisco. I know, but Crisco. Has everyone got one of these? Whoops. No, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, you brought. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Tom says he's ready. I would like to make a motion that we issue in order conditions for O'Reilly Auto, Auto Enterprises mm -hmm. as follows, a standard order. And before I mention the special orders, there are two items on here, items one and nine. The first item about storage maintenance and refueling, um, it says a 100 foot buffer and 200 riparian zone. And I don't think they can accomplish either one on this site because of the proximity to the brook. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we suggest that they do any filling by the Waterman Road side of the building, well, that's number. You're talking about number nine, I right? Think they're going to be no, I'm talking about. 
He says one. I'm talking about number one yeah. or number nine. All right. Well, so the snow storage is within 100 foot, and that's the same. Right. So what I'm talking about as far as the setback from the actual brook. All right. Um, All right. So regarding number one, um, I would. Well, you know what? You can amend it. My suggestion would be. Amend it to say. Um, I mean, they could, in terms of construction equipment, as you know, there are two parking lots. Mm -hmm. um, it probably there's more room in the the forward parking lot for them to do that type of work. And it's further away. Right. So yeah. you could maybe amend condition one just to um, to make reference to the upper parking lot shown on the plan. What would they be doing that to? Them? Well, just to to refill like to refuel. Um, Construction equipment. When they do the demo work, like when they take. Oh, uh, oh nation, during construction. Right, right. Like they're in operation. Right. right there. Okay. 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 So. Um, so you want to take condition number one, with the amendment that um, the storage, maintenance, and refueling is allowed in the front parking lot. What? What? I think that he referred to as the customer parking. The lot. customer parking lot. The okay. Selfish street side. Okay. Good. Okay. And then we have numbers two. Three, mm -hmm. five, eight. Um, number nine on the snow storage. I don't know if they had anything submitted as far as a plan. Well, I think you can. Yes, uh, for a waiver. Yeah. Have some of the. Yes, yeah, for a waiver now. Okay. Yeah. And, and three, two. Hold on one second. We don't have. Well, three is the sign of condition. Oh no no sorry hold on right. sign, no 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 hold on wait a minute. Not that one. We should have started the decision we have from the planning board and we didn't. Yeah, it's like any situation. The growing season one. Hold on. <laughs> 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 There's no replication there. No, it's not. No. no, no, no. The trees. Remember, like this, this said the landscaping to plan and scoop late maintenance, including a statement of all disease, damage, dead material replaced in accordance with the two existing trees. As we see, two existing trees at South Street entrance. A waiver providing street trees along South Street is being requested in favor of providing the trees on the interior of the site. We understand the planning board will address this waiver request. So that's not us. That's not you. So, that's right. Never mind. Sorry. That's I right. that there was something about it. Okay. So, so far we've got. Uh, <laughs> All right. We have one. One. Number one, two, three, five, eight. Number nine. Eight, nine. Um, as far as snow storage. I would suggest. Uh, that you keep that condition in there. Okay. All right. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Yep. Thirteen. And how about and twelve? Two. What? Are they rest? I'm sorry. Twelve does not apply. No. You're and, right. and a special condition, and this is the wording. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to write it down, Shell. Sure. The developer will adhere to BMPs, best management practices, relating to work in close proximity to streams and brooks, particularly yeah. in demolition work areas yeah. noted on sheet number D1.1, site demolition plan, as keynotes one, three, six, eleven, and twelve, which are noted on page D one, which are basically just descriptions of what's being taken down, existing building, existing concrete, and so forth. Okay. Excellent. Tom did his well, well, I, 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 I went to well. school as an English major. I, just, you were, I you do flooring now. I'm so proud. You're ready for my <laughs> um, Did you learn that at Holy Cross when we went? Holy Cross. Okay. Well, the, oh, no, the BMPs, yeah. 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 I, I never liked that word, you know. Okay, there's you, There's a motion uh, on the table. Is there a second? I second it. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, it's a vote. Okay, okay, so we weren't going to go over the numbers again. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 11, 13, with special conditions on one, one amendments and special conditions added. Do you want to read that? Again? Amendment on one. Do you want to read the keynotes? Could you read yeah. the amendment on one again, please? On one, um, that during the, I, I was going to stick in during the construction, the storage and uh, maintenance and refueling um, at the site be um, 
in the back, it, to the, in, part, in the customer parking, mm -hmm. the front. Oh, okay. If you have any questions, send me a draft and I'll take a look at it tomorrow. All right, we'll do that. All right. Um, Great. Here's the sheet. Mm -hmm. Now, we received notice, just a few items before we adjourn. Mm -hmm. We received items from the, the Department of Agricultural Resources that right there's going to be an herbicide applied. Um, on behalf of the province in Worcester Railroad Company, and uh, this, as you recall, if you will recall, we questioned what they were going to apply, and we were basically told that to keep our nose out of it, mm -hmm. that we had no jurisdiction. So, so. They sent us a list. But they did send us a list, so I guess that's something. And then we also got this we got. Um, um, actually, it's the same thing. And then um, this is the letter from Tech Associates. Okay. Um, and they're not going to want any of the map from Tech Associates. Did, did, did it happen to mention that I know the, didn't the ownership of the railroad road actually change hands recently? I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. I know it's on the discussion. Okay, if there's no other business, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? <laughs> of course not. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, everyone.